that video. I haven't bothered for a while. Because it's all quite crazy and stupid. I mean, this whole conversation about guilt and this idea that anything the monkey wants is somehow legitimate. That there's not some sort of obvious difference between somebody who wants to help old ladies cross the street and somebody who wants to rape and kill a 13 year old girl. That fundamentally, intrinsically, it's preferable to have people who want to help old ladies across the street and not have people who want to rape 13 year old girls and kill them. This is true. We can tell the difference between those two wants, wanting things, and we can know that don't make any of those. Yeah, make lots of those. We can see the difference. We can recognize the difference. <sighs> Quite obvious. Anyway, so he keeps pretending that there's no difference. It's just monkey want, monkey want. It's all the same. It doesn't matter. It does matter. It has consequences. Consequences matter. All right, anyway. Um, so now he's... Right, this is only a minute and 23 seconds. This is a lot better than his previous 40-minute video rambling on incessantly in this insane manner about differences between believing something and, and wanting something, needing something. The difference between our desire and our understanding of the world we have to navigate to satisfy our desires. We know there's navigational rules and we know those navigational rules are sensible. So you could have like an argument about the commons, like you're a lobster fisherman. <laughs> you can want to go fishing for more lobsters, but you can understand why there's rules that say you can't go fishing for more lobsters. You already did your two hours worth you only get two hours worth because if everybody goes fishing for lobsters all day, there's no more lobsters and no more lobster fishing. So you, your want is understood that I can't exercise the want as I want it. I have to exercise it some other way. Obviously, somebody can know going to work sucks, but they endure the suck because they know it's the only way. They're going to have a roof over their head and all this other shit. They're not going to have a good life if they don't do what they don't want to do. So understanding and desiring are different functions of our brain. Somehow he doesn't know that. <laughs> he doesn't believe that. He thinks they're both beliefs or he thinks they're both desires. But he won't understand that our brain can do both things and it can know when it's appropriate for us to fart and when it's inappropriate for us to fart. I mean, we can, we can have a fart, ready to fart, and we can know, don't fart here. <laughs> we can know this. This isn't, don't, we can need to urinate. You need to apparently urinate every 15 minutes. You know you just don't whip it out and piss on the wall. You, you know that. You want to. You believe it would be a good idea to piss, but you also understand, okay, can't piss here. Got to go somewhere where it's right to piss. Because you understand. So, what is this crap? <laughs> yeah, what is this crap? Oh, anyway, so I'll play some of this crap, and so you'll understand, what is this crap? Just uploaded a video. True to form, it was about a subject that I'm quite interested in, so I went into a bit of a ramble on it. Um, the upshot of it is, do we actually believe our own principles? Um, so again, a, a, a principle is just an understanding. So it's, it's like understanding the navigational rules. The principles would be, do we really understand the rules of baseball? And that it's not fair to drill holes in your bat and fill it with cork because now you're cheating. <laughs> you know, it's not fair to take steroids. It's not fair to... But can we understand that? Yes. Does it change the fact that we're still thinking, but I can make two million more dollars if I put cork in my bat. And are we selfish assholes driven by passion? Yes. So we have knowledge and we have our passion. 
and sometimes our passion overwhelms our knowledge, and sometimes our knowledge overwhelms our passion. That's the nature of the conflict, the duality between being uh, a wanting thing and being a thinking thing. Sometimes you think good, sometimes you want hard. Does anyone 100% believe their own principles? Yes. I mean, what? I mean, a principle like what? Gravity? Yeah, I believe gravity happens. <laughs> yeah, I believe a lot of things with 100% certainty. <clears throat> I believe it would be 100% certain that it would be just plain not likely to have any productive value whatsoever uh, for me to go out and find some little kid and rape and kill it. Just would not be a cost effective. All right? If I got off doing it, let's say, it wouldn't be worth my getting off for the harm imposed on the kid and the family. And who never knows, maybe the kid would have cured cancer, so that would have been another liability tied on to the tragedy of my decision. I can know 100% that there's a low probability, so that's the catch. I can know 100% that there's a low probability that this is action worth doing that the it's more likely to cause catastrophe than what's a c word that's good <laughs> cumery <laughs> yeah uh say you believe in i don't know in this case harm reduction or veganism or whatever i mean this this whole little like this silliness that you you trivialize this oh so what you you, you believe in something like harm reduction <laughs> oh shit or veganism silly people with this silly little nonsense like that's like being a bigot against homosexuals or something i mean the whole way you you phrase this is just so obnoxious um but it's obnoxious to something you know you don't think it's sacred okay that's okay i mean i can understand you know, people don't have respect for sacred cows. You know, you know they mock the sacred cow notion. I mock religious tokenism. I, I, I mock their rituals. It has it, it's no sacred value whatsoever. And I'm quite sure that I'm correct in mocking it, because I'm quite sure it's irrational babble. You're so sure that it's just irrational babble to think reducing harm is good. You really, you really, that much of a nihilist that you really won't even concede there's any probabilistic hope that reducing harm is a good thing. <laughs> You're just such an evil piece of shit. Do you actually believe in it? <clears throat> and what does what would that actually mean to act to? believe in something well it would actually mean that you make whatever you balance your interests and you say what about my interests can I compromise in service what how can I finance how can I help the cause and usually to help the cause you're going to have to give up something to do it to mitigate harm you have to spend money or you have to spend time mitigating it. You don't want kids to get run over at the street corner, then you go to the street corner and you mitigate. You you prevent kids from like playing ball as they're you know and doing silly stupid things. You just you, you be a little naggy asshole and say don't do that. <laughs> You're gonna get run over, you little fuck. And you mitigate harm, but you have to sacrifice your time to do it. So. Yeah, you believe in it, but you're going to have to pay for that belief. And obviously, as selfish organisms, by nature, it's hard to do. So you're not going to be perfect. You're not going to be as good as you want to be. And you're not going to be, as a practical matter, able to be. Because you don't have a million dollars in the bank. And you don't have 58 hours in a day. <laughs> you know, So you can't do everything you'd want to do. Does that mean that you 100% believe in it? 90%? 75%? Whatever. Well, this idea that somehow your belief in something, your confidence in your understanding, 
has something to do with how well you can exercise your confidence in your understanding is I think just such a misnomer, it's such a category error. Our, our ability to actualize our best strategy and having a best strategy are two different things. We can know how to, like, I know what, okay, I'm going to be a pole vaulter. I get the idea. I run with the stick. I leap. I bend the stick a lot. The stick throws me over the bar. Okay, I got the principle, so I'll just do it. Well, you can't just do it. <laughs> so that's the problem. It's not just to do I, Even though I know 100% that I got the physics right, doesn't mean I can implement the physics. And that's the problem of our psychology. Yeah, we can try. We can do well or we can do badly. In some respects, I do well in implementing my beliefs. In other respects, I don't do so good. Yeah. So? Because we do know that people have what we call, colloquially, moments of weakness. In a moment of weakness, what's going on? Where does our belief go? Yeah, again, it's not that the belief goes anywhere, and it just as you pointed out. I mean, it, the moment of weakness is really just a definition of the strength of your passion. So, yes, sometimes our, our weakness, our, our, it's almost like being physically weak. Sometimes we're, we feel like a nut, sometimes we don't. Sometimes you feel like you can do something. You have the acuity for it. You feel in the zone. Yeah, sometimes you're in the zone, and it's all easy. And other times, you know, you're nowhere close to the zone. And I better pass the ball to somebody who is. <laughs> because I'm going to miss the shot. Because I'm not, worried. I'm not even near a zone. So, yeah, I'll pass the ball to somebody who's in the zone. And he'll make the shot. Um... Where does our, what takes control of us when we get, as the Christians say, tempted? Do... <clears throat> what takes control of us is our miseries, our pain. So a week back could take control. Um, again, just you know, your own, um, when, we, when we display a lack of character, we usually display a lack of character because... We are run down and we're tired. We're not, at, we're not at our best. And so we make a not good judgment. Um, because we just don't have the strength to do it the right way. So we cheat. And as soon as we start cutting corners, corners get cut. We, is it a question of not believing for a short period of time? No. Well, again, you, this idea that you're going to say that both are beliefs, like I said, that horniness is a belief. It's not. Understanding how to affect or, or gain relief for your horniness in the real world, in a world where other agents exist with an interest, that belief of what the right way to do that is. Again, it's like pissing. There's, there's sometimes you just can't... Look, there's people who run marathons and they shit their pants. <laughs> they don't want to shit their pants, but they're going to shit their pants. Yeah, you know, I mean, they're overwhelmed by the process. I mean, there's absolutely no, they're 100% sure they do not want to shit their pants. They just don't have a choice. I believe that another part of us has gained the ascendancy temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this gain the ascendancy, like they're both real competitors and like they're somehow equal competitors. So somehow your desires are equal to your understanding. That they're somehow both the same thing, or they're both um, equally deserving of stars and ribbons and epaulets and whatnot. They're not. Your understanding is something that can be logic based and have huge amounts of integrity. Some people's understanding is just schemes to fulfill desires, some people's understanding are models of reality and an understanding of meritorious goal. So some players are team players, some players are not. 
And in that context, the team player says, I understand what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get a World Series ring on our finger. Okay, and the way we do that is we play this game as a team, not as a bunch of individuals. And sometimes we don't try to hit a home run. We just try to get on first base. Sometimes we don't try to be the hero. We pass the ball to the guy in the zone. That's what that the rather long rambling video actually says in many more words than this. Right, it, it doesn't say anything. Again, comparing understanding, knowledge, with desire, in my opinion, is insensibly insane. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean, right?